All right, so I want to clean up uh, just a little bit uh, from last time. My program that rearranges the time history um, wanted to do a, a couple little bit different things to it. And then my peaks program, I did have one bug, and I need to point that out. So in the, uh, first of all, the rearranging program, um, I set it up so that all I need to do is change the number of lines in the name of the file and it'll take care of the rest. So in order to do that I needed to have a, a character statement in my program. So there it is, character proc file as in the file to process um, star 30. That means that that character that represents that can be as much as 30 characters. And that should be plenty for the file names that I use. So uh, here I have a statement where I've commented out file2-refroad.txt and here is the active one which is file1-pothole.txt now like I said before you could make some sort of configuration file so that you don't have to recompile this every time you want to run it but the, the type of files that we're going to use in our class as opposed to a commercial environment uh, we're just going to look at these two so it's probably the most straightforward way to deal with it and so when you use the open statement then you have this open statement file equal proc file and so it'll read uh, that as this text that is defined here and here you know the one that is not commented out all right so it does rely on the fact that you have values in your time history that are greater than zero and if you have a fatigue time history you you really uh, stress or strain you really should have something greater than zero in order to have some sort of damage. Of course you could be looking at a torsional time history or something like that, but we can look at those kind of details later. Also change the name. Um, this is not really a peak A that I had it here before, so I just called this the point in the time history. All right. And uh, just change it a few spots here. And then the other thing uh, I'm going to do, because Excel complains so much about being an XLS file when it's tab delimited, I've renamed these as a TSV file or a tab separated uh, value file. Um, so uh, I'll show you how you can set Excel up in order to uh, open it up automatically as this. All right, so that's the, there's no substantive changes, just a few things to clean up in my rearranger. So if you remember the, the program reads in a file, you need to know how many points are in the file, but it reads in a file, finds the last peak in it, the last point that's the big biggest. If there are repeated values, it'll take the last one. Um, you know, re repeated the same maximum values will take the last one. And then rearranges the file and outputs it to a new file. Now the contents of the new file have exactly one more point than your starting file. So this file for the pothole is 7782 points long. When it's rearranged and reprocessed, it's going to have 7783 points in it. All right, so that's what that's all about. So that works and it compiles. And uh, let me show you about the output, the TSV file. Now, I've, I've already changed mine to be able to be read by Excel. But if you need to, what you can do is uh, you would open with, and then you choose an app, and then you would go through, and you would maybe have to go through more apps or somewhere, look for an app on your PC. And you get into the spot where Excel is residing. So if you haven't done this before, it's probably under Microsoft Office, uh, Office 16. And then here it is. You would take that and you would have it open it with that file. I've already done that. So when I click on this now, double click, it just automatically brings that in. And it doesn't complain about it being the wrong file format. I find that doing this often enough all those little things that uh, you just click once or twice on if you add that up over the course of a day when you're trying to debug something that's a lot of extra clicks that you don't need to do okay so here's the the original in the rearranged time history um, uh, here is the I guess this is the peak picked one so it's the uh, probably the one I ought to be looking at right now is the rearrange.tsv. Okay. So it creates this file where it starts with this biggest value, 6576, and 
down at the bottom it ends with that same value and here we have a repeated value at the end but but that's okay we'll take care of that in the peak picking part there was one little bug that I had to uh, take care of in that part and that's in the program peaks.for um, if we go down I fixed some typos here if, in the text that prints if we go down to here if position is equal to all points then go to 210 um, that really should have been if position is greater than the number uh, of the points all points then go to 210 and the reason why it needs to be greater than is because this position equal to position plus one it increments that and then it has the decision if the decision was done before that then it would have been equal to but since it adds one to the position before I send it to line 210 then I have to have a greater than and that uh, 210 is down here where it writes the last file out to, and then closes everything out all right so let me start at the top so you can get a good look at this if you need so I have my integer statements there's the program statement now these file names are hard-coded in as TSV files now and uh, uh, none of this has really changed and I'm gonna get rid of this statement now so that doesn't cause any problems when I go to see it later I'll make that start in column 7 and then all this calculating the slopes and looking for a change in slope a different sign of the slope all that stays the same I commented out a couple of right statements so that it didn't make the screen as messy um, I'm gonna leave them in there as comments and that is it so again I needed to change this uh, it appeared to work in the um, pothole time history because it had a repeated value at the end um, but when I tried the rough road history then I had to uh, make a change there so that it did ride out the last peak again so we have it started in with that same highest value all right that's enough for that